All right, so we'll jump right into it. Uh, welcome everybody to the GSC Health Assist Health and Dental Training today, hosted by uh, Dominic and Chris, senior leaders from GSC. Uh, from popular demand from the starting of the year, we had a lot of WFG advisors, senior leaders, uh, come out and say they really want to have more trainings around this special product. So here, here we are, and we have more coming out throughout the month as well, hosted by Dominic and Chris. So a great prospecting product, a gateway product, and I'll let Chris and Dom jump right into it and, and uh, go through the entire session. So with that said, I'll hand it over to Dom and Chris, and then we'll get the we'll get the training started. Great, thank you. Thanks, Sergeant. Thanks for the intro. Um, yeah, I mean this is a good session. And to your point, we've been doing these. I think for the better part of over a year now, um, and we're getting great feedback and we're seeing really good results. So excited to share some time um, and outline the presentation to you folks. What we've done here and what Chris will do is she'll walk you through a 40, 45 minute presentation. Typically this is about a 70, 80 minute presentation, but we're gonna go somewhat light on the product. Um, Chris will touch on it, but we're gonna spend a lot more time, excuse me, on the value add that we provide in health assist where to find the information we can certainly follow up with you for more details on the product but that's pretty easy to figure out it's how the product stands out what makes it sort of a leader in the marketplace how to create awareness with your distribution or with your prospects um and really that's kind of what we've done over the last year year and a half is really taken you know the kitchen table and try to put it online sunny's help and his team we've really reached out to um wg advisors from coast to coast and we got really good feedback on this so we're continuing to do this and we Evening, uh, as much as we can, and we'll certainly push forward. Sorry, is there a comment? No, oh, sorry. Next slide, Chris. So, again, Chris will walk you through your product, but there's a couple of things you can take away from this presentation. It's a very simple product um, to position to your clients. Because once Chris provides, once Chris provides the outline, you'll see how simple it is. Um, we're very confident in the pricing and the benefits of the product for us. That's table stakes. We need to be competitive to, to compete, and I think we do more than that. Um, but that's the table stakes. What really makes us stand apart in our marketplace is how easy we make it. We make it for you to do business with us, from our streamlined underwriting and a mint or a quick turnaround times, and the service that we provide to you and your clients really make us stand out in the marketplace. And um, we've actually reached out to several of our distrib distribution partners and many of you may have received um, an invite from us or a survey from us and this is the response we've been getting um, so this is not us talking uh, this is the feedback we're getting from distribution partners much like yourself and i think this is as of may chris if i'm not mistaken so you see the feedback we're getting availability plans prompt response customer service to me that's our you know that makes us stand on the market base the customer service we provide both to you and to your clients again Realizing the product has to be competitive, this kind of stuff and this feedback makes us stand on the marketplace. And this is our distribution partners telling us what they think of us in terms of service in the overall program. In short, it's one of the only 
products we know, you know, and your clients know they're going to use. Um, the average person claims the individual dental product around six, seven times, six, seven, eight times a year. Um, dentist a couple times a year, physio, car, what have you. We know they're going to use it. You know they're going to use it. Um, and to Sonny's point out the top, it's a great gateway product to other opportunities. So if you're new in the industry and you've got some prospects but no real clients, it's a great way to get your foot in the door. And by virtue of them purchasing health and individual and dental, you know they're on our group coverage. It's a great pivot to other products you want to provide them as well. And in terms of our market, um, very broadly based, um, it's basically workers without benefits and retirees without, without benefits. And both of these segments are growing in the overall marketplace. If you look at you know, the self-employed small business owners, contract workers, these are all folks that are not conducive or do not qualify for group coverage. Um, so this is a growing segment, obviously, in the Canadian landscape. So again, that bodes well for the individual product that we offer. And then the other growing market for us is the retiree. Uh, folks leaving group coverage for whatever reason. Uh, there was a time and place where you would retire from you know, a job they were at for 30, 40 years, and you retire with benefits for life. That's gone away. It's gone away for like 15, 20 years and continuing to do so. So there's a growing need in the in a more senior marketplace, if you will. So we've got a solution for that as well. I think with that, I will hand it over to Chris. Thanks, Tom. Um, so what, um, something to keep in mind when you're thinking about um, the health and dental products is that it's a very simple eligibility criteria. Um, so basically, you're going to be covered by a provincial government health plan and between the ages of 18 to 79. Um, and so that's for both of our plans. So we have, um, first I'll start with the link. Um, so the link plans are um, guaranteed issue products um, that are designed to um, provide coverage for your clients and their families if they're leaving a group plan. Um, and they would have access to coverage for you know health, drug, dental, travel, and hospital. Um, and there are four different plans. And um, the only thing you need to keep in mind is that they need to apply within 90 days of losing those group benefits. Now, as I mentioned, there are the four plans. Um, obviously, you have plan one, um, which is your least comprehensive, up to plan four, which is your most comprehensive. And the only other thing to really keep in mind with these plans is um, your client really needs to choose the plan that they think is going to best suit their needs um, right from the offset. Um, because once they're on these plans, they're not able to increase the coverage. Um, if, on the other hand, they, you know, say, for example, they purchase, you know, a Link 3, and they decide that, you know, Link 3 is too much coverage for them, and they don't need that much coverage, at the one-year mark, um, and any time after one year, they can downgrade the plan, um, but they can never upgrade. Um, so just something to keep in mind when you're looking at these plans. On the other hand, um, we have your zone plans. Um, and under the zone plans, we have eight prepackaged options. Um, and under all of these plans, um, your clients can add um, the preferred hospital accommodation. Um, now, that is an optional rider. Um, so, first, we're going to look at the guaranteed issue plans. You get um, zone one, two, and three. Um, and you'll note that zone one, two, and three don't have any prescription drug coverage. Um, and then we have the zone fundamental plan. Um, which is the only guaranteed issue plan that is available for anyone um, that does have that drug component to it. Um, and so it just depends on what you know benefits your, your client is looking for um, as to which plan here would best suit their needs. Um, and you'll note that the um, emergency medical travel is also another benefit. It's embedded in our plans. Um, your clients don't have to qualify for that. Um, that comes with it. On the guaranteed issue, sorry, on the medically underwritten side, um, we have zone four, five, six, and seven. Um, zone uh, seven is actually our newest plan. We added that last year, um, and I believe it still has um, the highest um, drug maximum in the industry. Um, and again, it's just a matter of your client choosing. Okay, you know, like what? How many travel days are they looking for? How many? How much drug coverage are they looking for? Um, you know, is major dental an issue? Um, those sorts of things are going to determine which plan best suits their needs. Um, you'll also notice that, you know, we have, um, you know, on zone four, you'll see increasing maximums. Um, that's something that we do quite often. Um, the longer you're on the plans, the better the plans get. Um, so that's how we reward loyalty. Now, um, you know, every carrier says their products are different, um, but this is how we're different. 
and for you, the advisor, we really worked on making it easy for you to do business with us. We have a very simple product offering. You have your conversion plans, your guaranteed issue plans, and your medically underwritten plans. Um, we have a whole host of loyalty rewards, um, which help enhance retention. Um, and also, we include you as part of the communication process um, so that you know we're getting you the information about your client that you need before you think to come ask for it. Um, because we know you're busy, we know you're focused on other things, um, so getting the information to you before you ask for it, um, you know, that's one of our, our aims. Another thing that um, you know we've really worked on is our onboarding experience. Um, so this is a sample of the advisor form, and actually the Aon form is shorter than this. Um, so basically, you fill in the form, you send it in to us, and we will set you up with your own personalized URL. Um, so here you can see this is a sample of what the URL looks like, and I will go through it a little bit later. Um, you know, if you have a logo, we can add your logo to it. Um, you know, we put your contact information in there. Um, so it can be a really, um, you know, customized feel for you. Um, now, when it comes to, you know, resources, we also have a whole host of marketing resources. So we have a whole advisor toolkit. Um, and this, you know, has all the information you'll need to sell health assist, including um, a prospect video, which you can send out to clients, which gives them, you know, a little more information about, you know, what is health assist and, you know, why they might need it. Um, we have advisor-focused training modules, which are available any time. Um, there's all of the product and plan information, the benefits, the rates, um, why your clients are going to want it. Um, an extensive advisor guide, and um, in addition, we also have a whole bunch of marketing inserts, ad placements um, that you can customize um, with your own information. Now, those marketing insights can be found, uh, sorry, marketing templates can be found under the sales toolkit section. And as you can see here, we have letters, emails, ad templates, buck slips. Um, if you happen to be in the group insurance um, you know, market, there's a promo sheet for plan administrators. Um, so there's really a whole host of you know, features for you here. Um, and here's a sample of one of them. Uh, so it has all of the information, um, you know, kind of a, a teaser, you know, what, you know, what is Health Assist, and you customize your information and you send it out to your clients. Um, so that is there for you. Now, when it comes to your clients, um, you know, there's a, a bunch of benefits for them. So you have, um, you know, your guaranteed issue plans, um, your, uh, and also something we called MUJET, um, which is an expedited rating process um, for online applications. Um, so we also have our um, no declines and, you know, we don't do ratings. So, you know, when your client applies, um, we will try to work with them um, to get them a plan that, you know, meets their needs. Um, there's a very simple health questionnaire um, for the medically underwritten plans, no attending physician statements to worry about, um, no, no paramedicals, no nurses need to visit or anything like that. Um, we know sometimes your clients are trying to line up coverage, um, so if they're losing coverage or um, there's a particular date that they want coverage to start, um, you know, you have the ability to um, select your effective date. So the system will automatically pre present first for the following month, but if that does, date doesn't work on a guaranteed issue app, you could also choose, um, you know, uh, two other alternate dates are provided. Um, the turnaround time for applications for a guaranteed issue, it's instant approval um, for your um, medically underwritten plans. It's uh, seven to 10 business days, um, which you know is much shorter than some of our competition. Um, we also have very convenient premium payment options. Um, so they can pay by debit or on credit card. Um, so those are, are all available you know, for your client. In addition to that, um, you know, we know that your, your client needs are different. Um, we have single couple coverage, um, and a couple would be for two people as in spouses or a single parent and one dependent child. Um, and family coverage is for people, for three or more people. Um, and, you know, something important to note here that larger families don't have to worry about um, surcharges for additional family members. Um, a family of seven pays the same rate as a family of three would. Um, so that's, you know, that can add up to significant savings for your client. Um, the other thing is there's no termination age for any of our benefits. Uh, so as long as your client continues to pay the premiums, um, the benefits will remain in effect for life. 
And this does include that out of province and out of country coverage. Um, so as long as your client can meet the, the stability clause, which under our plans is 90 days, um, meaning that they haven't had any changes in their health in the last 90 days, that out of country coverage is there to, you know, for life as well. Um, so when you're thinking about, you know, your client who's, you know, 75, 80, um, you know, having that travel coverage there for them is, is a, another great value because they're not having to look elsewhere for it. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, um, especially for your retiree populations, is that our top age band is 65, meaning that um, a client who is 80 is paying the same rate as someone who's 65. Some of the competitors will have additional age bands that drive up the price in the retirement years, um, which can, so, you know, going with Green Shield could add up to significant savings for your client. When it comes to the application process, um, we've really worked on, you know, the process to make it very smooth and very streamlined. Um, so the application can, you know, follow one of two possible paths. Um, either it's considered a guaranteed issue application, meaning it was an application for a link plan or your zone one, two, three, and fundamental, or um, one of those expedited underwriting applications, what we call MUJET, whereby if your client can answer no to the four knockout questions, which I will show you a little later in the presentation, their medically underwritten application is automatically approved, just like a guaranteed issue plan. Um, and, you know, once your, your client is approved, an email notification is immediately sent out to both you and the applicant, um, confirming the approval and the next steps for coverage to begin. Now, on the other hand, if it's a medically underwritten app, um, you know, we re receive the application and um, the, the system automatically triggers an email that goes out that says, we've got it. Um, so you and your client both know that, you know, we've received the application and it gives, you know, the, the next steps that we will go through and, you know, to, con to um, continue the application. For the underwritten applications, um, you know, there's, as I mentioned, there's no attending physician statements. Um, you know, if there's, you know, a question about some of the medical information that was provided or we need more clarification, um, our underwriters will reach out directly to the client um, and ask those questions in order to keep the application moving along. Now, um, when we make a decision, um, there are a couple of things that can happen. One, it could be approved um, with no, um, no exclusions, um, and so the email would go out. Um, if there is an exclusion, um, so we would issue a counter offer, and essentially under the Green Shield plans, um, we will only exclude the drugs to treat the pre-existing conditions. Um, so if your client, um, you know, has, you know, uh, you know, a knee um, problem, and or sorry, like so something wrong with their knee, and they also want to use the physio portion of the benefit, that is not excluded. We only look at the drugs. Um, so, you know, a counteroffer could be issued, excluding the drugs to treat their pre-existing condition. Um, but in that counteroffer, we'll also include alternate plans, um, the guaranteed issue plans, so that when your client gets the counteroffer, um, you know, they're, they know that they have another option. If they're eligible for LINK, we would include the LINK plans. Um, and um, if they're not eligible for LINK, we automatically include the Zone Fundamental. And they could choose one of those guaranteed issue plans, no questions asked. Um, and as you know, our turnaround time is quick, seven to 10 days. Here's a sample of the email um, that we would send out, you know, saying the application is approved, of the plan, the premium, when the payments are gonna come out. So all of that information is summarized for your client right away. Now, when it comes to the payment process, um, we heard from many clients that taking two payments out on the effective date of the policy was difficult for them financially. Um, so we've given clients the ability to space out their payment, payments a bit. Um, so depending on the time that they apply during the month um, is you know, basically how, how much um, space will be in between those payments. So the first payment is taken for the first month of coverage when the application is approved. And then the second payment for the second month of coverage will be taken out on or around their effective date. And then subsequent payments are taken out on the first of every month going forward. 
In addition, um, we have a few other customer touch points, um, including your renewal notifications. Um, if someone changes an age band, um, or if they have a dependent child who has reached um, age 21 and is aging off the plan, um, we will send you know, a letter out to your client, and we will send a copy of a letter for all of those, um, for the renewal, the age band, um, and the overage dependents, um, letting your client know, okay, this is what's happening with your premium, and we send you a copy of that in the mail as well, so you always know what's happening with your client. Um, the, uh, the other thing that we have is a payment resolution process. Um, we know sometimes, you know, payments are received for, uh, you know, any number of reasons. It could be NSF, it could be an account was closed, um, a credit card's expired. Um, we will reach out to the member directly to resolve the payment issue so that there's no interruption to their coverage. In addition to um, the, you know, the benefits that are under your plan, we have a whole host of value adds, and that falls under our Your Access to. Um, so, um, through Plan Member Online Portal, um, so this is PMOS, um, uh, health assist plan members have access to arrange for direct deposit, submit claims online, track their benefit balances. Um, if they're wondering if a particular drug is covered into the plan, they can check that. Um, when it comes to tax time, they can print premium confirmation reports, um, you know, find, you know, um, a providers who will submit directly to Green Shield. Um, so say, for example, you have a client who, um, you know, they want to, you know, minimize their out-of-pocket expense. They can go on and they can search for a provider, um, you know, physio provider, um, and say, look, I only want to see the ones who will bill directly to Green Shield and we'll provide a list of those providers. Um, you know, and those are all, you know, people in their area, so they can search by postal code. Um, we also have the mobile app, um, which offers many of the same features as the um, Plan Member Online Services, it's just on your phone or tablet, um, and it offers 24-7 mobile access to your clients. Um, it's very convenient, quick and easy to use, um, so this is uh, available to them as well. Um, during the you know pandemic, um, we realized that mental health was a really big issue for um, you know a lot of clients, especially like a lot of Canadians. And now, you know, without being able to go to um, the providers, we wanted to find a solution. Um, so we added the beacon to our plans, um, and the standard course of therapy provides access to a dedicated therapist who specializes in cognitive behavioral therapy um, via a mobile device um, for up to 12 weeks. And then um, they have access to helpful online resources for one year after that. Um, so um, this is a great program for you know people who are needing that assistance. Um, we also have a legal assist program, um, and all health assist members are given access to this benefit. Um, and it can provide advice on most major types of law, um, family, criminal, civil litigation, landlord, tenant, um, real estate, wills, and estates. Um, there's an assistance plan for members who are victims of identity theft. Um, and we find that many of our small business owners who have a simple legal question will use this benefit instead of reaching out to their regular lawyer who would bill them for their time. Um, members can also request a lawyer to draft a simple legal letter on their behalf, um, review simple documents, or if it's something a little bit more complicated, um, they can be provided with a referral to a local lawyer um, who offers discounts on their fees. So this is another example. Um, we also have um, uh, Change for Life, um, which is um, a program designed to encourage and support plan members living their healthiest lifestyle. Um, and so they complete an online health assessment and everything you do on the portal earns points as they participate in different activities and resources available through the program. Um, and as those points are accumulated, the members are able to bid, bid to win um, gift cards from Canadian popular retailers. Uh, another value add is our, um, you know, pocket pills, um, you know, and plan members can manage you know, there and their families, including aging parents' medications via, via the simple-to-use application. Um, medications are prepared and delivered to their doorstep monthly for no additional fee. Um, and the Pocket Bills team works directly with the plan member's doctor to manage medications so members don't have to worry about coordination of refills. 
Um, and for customers who take multiple medications, they can choose to have their medications arrive sorted by dose and time of day, um, labeled in very easy open to pocket, uh, very easy to open pocket packs. Um, in addition to that, we have our digital physiotherapy. Um, you know, right now people, you know, maybe can't get to that physio provider. Um, so the physio platform is, um, you know, provides registered physiotherapies. Uh, th physiotherapists um, are standing by to deliver their services online. The treatment begins with a live video call with the therapist who will complete an evaluation assessment to determine if a virtual experience is the right fit for the individual and their condition. And if it's determined that it is, um, a customized treatment plan is created um, by the physiotherapist who will monitor their progress along the way. And we also um, just recently um, have added Smile Direct Club. Um, so this is another step forward in making healthcare more accessible for plan members um, in that GSC has enhanced the scope of orthodontic coverage to include virtual orthodontics um, delivered by a licensed dentist through our partnership with the Smile Direct Club. Um, so, you know, if, if, you know, someone wants to, you know, look into this, it's certainly something they can, you know, check and see. And if it's not covered, um, so say they choose a plan that doesn't have orthodontic coverage, um, they also have preferred pricing um, for health as plan members. Now we're going to switch over to um, the advisor URL. Hey, this Chris search is over. Um, again, I just want to highlight there's about eight or nine value add benefits to the program. Aside from the co pays, the maximums, and the benefits, the digital benefits, they're either a, embedded into the, the option or the solutions or provide a discounted rate uh, for plan members. So, again, we talk about the value adds and the overall competitiveness of health assist. It also includes the, your access to benefits. Okay, so this is the um, you know, the URL, and as I um, on the the slide before, you know, we'd shown you know there's an option to you know customize the logo um, as well. The contact us section is customized um, with your information, so it'll have you know your name, your phone number, and your email. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get a quote for the zone plan. I click here. I'm going to select my province and go ahead and get a quote. So three simple questions to get the quote. And then what the system does is it pops up all of the prices for the zone plans. And as you can see, um, the plans that have the plus side beside them, those are the medically underwritten plans. Um, so they're easy to identify. And if I, you know, we're looking for my clients and I wanted to, you know, see a little bit more information about what's covered under the three plans, I could say, okay, I want to be zoned fundamental, zone five, and zone seven. And the system puts these side by side um, for you know, me to compare and see, okay, well, what's covered under dental and extended health and the drug coverage. So everything is here um, for you to see. Now, if there was a particular plan that you know I thought really suited my client, I can go into the view quote details section. And by putting in my client's email address here, I can then email that out to my client. And so once I've done that, um, then the email goes out to my client and also it sends a copy to you, the advisor, so that you have line of sight on this as well and you can follow up. Um, and the email that is sent out, it also includes a link which will then bring your client back to your URL um, where they can apply online. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the apply now button. I'm going to confirm the eligibility, the information that they need to have handy in order to start the online application. They're going to confirm that yes, they have provincial coverage, that they've read the terms of purchase, and then start the online application. Confirmation is issued, um, and I just continue to apply now. And right here, we can start filling in the information. Okay, here's all the information filled in. I'm going to continue. So, as I mentioned before, 
sure. You know, we want to make sure that your, you know, your clients always have an option. Um, so when we're looking at the uh, medically underwritten um, applications, we do confirm their coverage history. So if your client has lost group coverage, they would indicate yes here, when those benefits ended, and the name of the insurance company. And this is what we would use to determine if they are eligible for the link plan um, when, if, if we do need to issue a counteroffer. If I had chosen a couple or a family plan, I would add my additional dependents here. And then this is what I was speaking about a little bit earlier, um, where we have the... You just what we left. Call, what we just call the... Diesel. What we call the MU Jet plans. Um, and if your client is able to say no um, to these four knockout questions, um, then the application would become a guaranteed issue. So it will skip over the additional questionnaire and go right to the physician's information. So in this case, I'm gonna say no, some of those questions and continue on. Um, so because I said yes to one of the questions, the larger questionnaire does open up. So here I would continue, I would say no, and say for example, you know, I have an issue with my kidneys. I would say yes. I would indicate you know, what sort of condition I had. Um, so here, if it was kidney stones, I would indicate who it applied for. If there was, um, if there was additional information, um, I would able be able to do that. Uh, provide all this information here, and this is what the underwriters will use in order to um, underwrite the application. I'm going to go back to the health statement and I'm going to change my answer. I'm going to change that to no. And as you'll see, it will skip from here over the conditions and, med and medication and go right to the physician information. Enter in when I last saw my physician. and continue on. Here we have the declaration and authorization section. Read it, check off that we agree, and continue. And here we're at the confirmation page. Um, now, as I indicated earlier, um, the system will always present the first of the following month, um, but if your client is looking to space out those payments a bit, or if they're looking to line it up with a, you know, another coverage that they're losing, the system will, all, will automatically present two alternate dates. So say the July date doesn't work, I can choose the August 1st date, confirm, so read over all the information to make sure that everything I've entered here is accurate. And then we're gonna hit continue and move on to the payment page. And here, client has a choice to choose a credit card or they can use the pre-authorized withdrawal from a bank account and fill in all this information and submit the application. And then they're done. <laughs> um, so I'm going to move on to, um, so all, in order for you to get contracted, um, the information is here on the Aon um, Health Benefits Portal. Um, so we have a link to our plan advisor toolkit here um, and here option one is where you would select the new advisor form in order to get set up um, and as you see when we open this up you fill in your name here and your advisor code and then you email it to us at WFGA on a greenshield.ca um, and when you send it from your WFG account, you don't have to worry about um, having a, an, an MGA authorization because we can see from your email address you are with WFG, so we're able to proceed with this. So, um, and I'll show you the toolkit very quickly. So here is the Health Assist Toolkit, and again, that link from the Aon portal. Um, we have our Health Assist team contact here. Um, you know, the, if you are looking for more information on the Your Access 2, um, any updates we do, we'll include them here. And we also have the prospect video, um, which you can send out to your clients. Um, we have the whole host of training videos for you. Um, you know, say later on you're, you're you know, 
you're trying to remember, well, what was the last age band or um, what's, um, you know, some of the, the, you know, the advantages, um, they're all summarized here for you. Uh, so all of these are here available for whenever you need it. Um, product information, if you're looking for PDFs of so the brochures, the benefit coverage, the rates, all of that is here for you, um, as well as an advisor guide. Were there any questions? It's Dominic, I put um, three easy steps in the chat um, in terms of how to get set up with us. Um, we will reach out to you attendees. Um, to provide additional information. Um, I've also included my email address in there as well. Um, again, we will reach out to you. But yeah, if you have any questions, we're we'll available for a few minutes. You can raise your hand or put it in the chat. Also, feel free to unmute yourself if you do have a question. Like I said, what we find a lot of the advisors do is once they're set up, and again, we give them their own website, their own URL. And Chris did a great job showing you the longest possible route um, in terms of application. Folks that had a current condition, they had to outline what it was and move forward. But like a lot of them could be a guaranteed issue plan, or it could be an unwritten plan that can answer, they can answer no to the four knockoff questions. But a lot of advisors, will, again, once they have that set up, they'll take one of our marketing pieces, customize it, with their contact information and their URL and email that out to their prospects. Um, they get 20, 30, 40 prospects, email that out. They'll do their own quote, compare their own plans, and they may purchase directly from your URL and you won't know until you get an email from us. All right, so yeah, if there's no questions on you, we will reach out to everyone. So one more time, the contact information. Sure. So in the chat, um, you've got my email address and Chris has put her email address in there as well. Mm. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing some questions. Is there any phone number that we can contact? Yeah. Chris, you want to scroll down there? The phone number is down there, right? Uh, oh, yeah, right there. You can just grab it and put it in two. Sure. So there's a question about, yeah, these are all individual plans that we're referring to. Um, hi there. What about small businesses, somebody with five or ten employees, how would you go about doing that? Do we just contact you or? Um, so again, depending on the scenario, um, we do have small business where, you know, three or four employees where the employee will pay the premium for the employer, for the employee, sorry, uh, or pay some of it or, you know, percentage of it. The way it's set up with this is you know, the employer can set it up and pay 100% of it, and they get reimbursed um, at salary time. Um, and the beauty of it, too, is that you can pick and choose what plan. So in a group environment, they all have to have the same plans. Um, but in an individual plan, the owner can have, you know, zone seven, and frontline staff can have zone three, zone four, or other options. Um, when you get bigger than four or five or even 10, you may want to look at some small group opportunities. Um, and we typically follow those through study at the end. Sorry, I missed that last piece. So we would contact you we, if you have uh, You can contact me for sure. We can have a discussion, but I will forward those to study as well. Okay, good. Well, thank you. Any more questions? questions? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. The stereo here, so. Um, oh, I see another question. Can we, uh, can we as, as the advisor apply online on behalf of our clients? So we do have advisors that do that. Um, what most advisors will do is they'll send out the URL and walk the client through that. So they're taking all the steps um, and they're signing off on it. This, uh, there's a question about the presentation. Um, I think this was recorded. If not, there are training modules on the advisor site that Chris uh, provided a sample of. Uh -huh. Like this one here, right here. If you scroll down, there's actually some training videos on here and all the plan details are here as well. Yeah. 
Great. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sunny, for organizing. Awesome. Have a, have a great evening, everybody. And feel free to reach out to Dom and Chris as well. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Can I do a little bit second?